Rancho de la Hoyo. Is it really worth it? In this video, I'm gonna try to give you my thoughts on if this map is actually worth buying yourself or if you should just keep playing it in the multiplayer. The only unique thing you're getting by buying this map yourself is the ability to get this shotgun. The Kuzo Model 1897 comes in a few different variations, as well as there is one locked by some uh, mission stuff, I would imagine. However, currently this shotgun is very bugged and definitely should not be the reason why you decide to buy this reserve, as there is a ton of other good shotguns in the game already. The 16 gauge of the uh, Rancho de la Royal, as it is currently whenever you have shot another weapon you bring it out and want to shoot it it is bugged so wait for a fix if this is the reason why you want to buy this map but that shouldn't be the reason the reason why you should always consider when you're buying maps is that you get the ability to decide a few things that you cannot do in multiplayer games one of the things with not owning the map yourself is that you are not the one to decide what time you're hunting when you're joining multiplayer games. Often you can ask the host if it is okay that you change the time to something else. And more often than not, they actually do sometimes get through with that. Um, obviously you don't get kicked either, but there are still crashes happening once here and there. Another thing by owning the map yourself is that you get the ability to have permanent tents and stands, as long as no beavers come around, of course. But in a multiplayer game, whenever you place a stand or a tent, it will disappear as soon as you leave the game again. Now, I've put uh, quite a few tents out on my Rancho del Arroyo already. I haven't had any beavers come around and uh, take any of them down yet, but if I were to do that on a multiplayer, as soon as I left it, then they would be gone. So if you are in to try to optimize your hunting style and such on the map, then yes, you should definitely consider taking it. Another reason why you should pick up this map is if you're considering doing the great one grind because you definitely both want to be able to control the time so you hunt the, the drink zones you also want to try to get some tripods and uh, maybe even tree stands out there as well as some tents so if whitetails is a big deal for you then definitely pick it up as well but that's basically about it for the pluses of why you should pick up this map again it's only eight dollars it's not hopefully not gonna break your bank account but is it worth it if those things are important enough for you to actually decide that uh, yeah this is gonna be a map that i'm gonna be spending a ton of time on then definitely pick it up personally I might do the grade one grind, so yeah, eventually I would have picked it up myself. Um, but the prospect of having the ability to, to decide the time and such, I could easily... Most of the time I play multiplayer games anyway. You've seen my streams, right? Um, the animal selection, in my opinion, at best is a little meh. Um, the only thing that really gets me going is the pheasants and the whitetails on this map which basically leaves everything else a little dull but that is just my personal opinion and i'm sure a lot of uh, you guys have different takes on that um but i mean another turkey species just really doesn't tickle my fancy and um the bobcat does not look that different to the lynx and all that stuff but uh, it's nice to have something new to hunt this map is split up in like three biomes. You have the left side, which is a desert area. You have the middle, which is more a mix of... Um, it's almost like a tropical one, I think they called it. And then over here on the right side, you have a very hilly area. My favorite and probably the only one that I'm going to be focusing on the most is definitely going to be the middle one because the whitetail hunting is insane and you'll find a lot of bobcats, pheasants and such in there as well. Uh, the javelinas, I have actually not really spotted a whole lot of, but I do imagine that they're... Um, really out here in this area as well um they look cute but i i don't know not um not a class 4 animal in my opinion but that is what it is right but with that i think that is a pretty neat little way to uh, take a look around here and just imagine how hard it is going to be to spot anything and this is why we would love a longer render range because um we could be spotting the stuff on this side over here, which is going to be way easier to spot than the spot uh, to spot the stuff right here in front of us, which you're looking at the horizontal line right here. So basically everything is going to be hidden. But that's my take on it. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Um, did you buy it or are you going to be holding off simply because you don't want the map? Or maybe there's other reasons why you don't want to support EW with your money in the current state of the game.
But for me, it is going to be worth the money. I just don't see it being one of my favorite maps. And as soon as I've gotten the grade one off of this map and I've done my pheasant hunting that I want to do, I don't see myself spending a whole lot of time on this map. And it's pretty much going to end up like probably Teavaroa for me. But that's my personal take on this one.